Bloxburg updated today. It removed the April Fool's items, which was the school. So if you guys didn't get the trophy for the school, oh, I'm so sorry that you guys didn't get it. It probably won't be here next year because Coeptus likes doing things very much differently. But Bloxburg updated and they added the library back to the city hall. You guys will not believe this. There's a library in City Hall. Oh my god. So, in here we have this brand new library. It's not brand new to most users who played back in 2016 when the Bloxburg Library was actually a thing. So, Bloxburg recently removed all their April Fool items, which over here in this area of the City Hall was the school because on the top of the City Hall, they crossed it out and put school to fool everybody on April Fools, which was honestly a really cool joke. I really love the joke. So if you guys didn't get the trophy, I'm so sorry that you guys didn't get it. Um, but there's a brand new library in City Hall here on Bloxburg. And it honestly, I've never seen this, so I'm actually pretty excited for it to be back in Bloxburg. Who knows why they removed the library, but um, here are some people's guesses. The library could have been removed due to performance issues or really just nobody used the library which why add it back if nobody used the library so it's probably because of performance issues because Bloxburg back then didn't have a lot of items and generating a lot of parts into the game would have been very hard on some lower end computers now that the game has a lot of high quality items high quality builds and stuff it's probably good to note that the performance issues that used to have happen in Bloxburg with this library were like you know what it's about time after April Fools, let's add back the library. Who knows what Bloxburg is doing or what they're going to do with this library or whatever they're going to do with the city hall. Because if they add this in, I'm really hoping that they will probably add a conference room in one of these two areas because it will really take role plays up to the next level. Because you can pretend that this is like, you know, you could go here and check out a book and have like a little reception area in the um, city hall. And, you know, maybe have a little conference room for the city mayor or president, whatever, wants to have in there and it would be pretty cool and a lot of people have theories which um is what we're going to oh my god so a lot of people have a theories which who knows what's going to happen with this um city hall i really think that many people are just gonna go in here use it for whatever still probably use it as a school um because, you know, we need a school desperately so people can sit down in their seats and pretend that this is their, um, you know, school room, do whatever they want in here. And then over here it could be, like, you know, a different school room that they go into. Who knows? But, now who knows why they removed it, but, you know, there's just, there's some pretty good guesses out there. Um, I really hope that Bloxburg does add a school. I really loved Tom being a teacher, even though he was the most horrible teacher. He didn't give us a cheat sheet. We had to have a lot of people give us cheat sheets because you know what? Who's going to study things on Bloxburg about basically how many treadmills are in the, um, the gymnasium, how many trees around Bloxburg, how many bricks are in here? Apparently it's 3,000 bricks. That's a lot of bricks. Like who's going to know these answers? Um, who's going to know how many food items are in there? Like, no one, no one will know this. And maybe that was part of the joke to make people say, oh my god, there's a test? We didn't study. Um, so that's why people created some cheat sheets. It will be nice for Tom to give us some cheat sheets. And, you know, out in front of here, the school used to be here. And, you know, a lot of people are probably going to be sad that the school is gone. Um, but what were your thoughts on the April Fool's update? And what do you think about the new 0.10.5 update? Was it a really good update? Do you really like that you get to see the library? If you haven't played the game before the library came out, do you get to feel the, all that nostalgia that people used to feel, that some people are going to feel now that the library is back? Why do you think the library was removed? And why do you think they brought it back? There's a lot of questions to answer here. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you guys did, be sure to hit that like button and maybe subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Because um, if you clicked on this and made it this far, what well, makes you think that you don't enjoy this content? Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do happen to subscribe, thank you so much. I hope we can um, make it. I don't really care if my vehicle was towed. I hope we can make it to 1,000 or maybe even farther. But thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.